Hello my YouTube friends, it is Saturday, which is a day that I am not usually in the lab. However, my partner is offshore and I have a lot of work to do that I didn't manage to do during the week. So here I am, I'm spending my Saturday in the lab to try and get some work done to make me feel less stressed next week. Just want to make a disclaimer here, I don't usually come in on a Saturday and I do not encourage you to come in on a Saturday. This is basically a one-off for me. Um, I try to keep my work nine to five-ish that varies as well sometimes i come in earlier sometimes i leave later um and keep it monday to friday as well just so i get a bit of that like, work-life balance and manage to have some time to recharge and to rest so i can come in and be the best version of myself um that's not why at all it's actually just so i can protect my mental health and my body from burning out so yeah i'm gonna show you what i'm up to today i have just been to lidl and bought lots of snacks and breakfast and lunch to keep me going throughout the day because it's not very pleasant being here on a saturday and you've got to make it better somehow right Again, it's my own choice, so I can't really <laughs> complain about it. Yeah, so I'm going to eat my breakfast and wait for the other guys to get in because no one is here yet. And then I'm going to crack on doing my column in the lab. So as you can see, I prepared all of my solvents. So they were just ready to go uh, once the column had equilibrated. That's what you're seeing here. I'm equilibrating the column just by running the first solvent through to make sure that the silica is saturated with the solvent before I add my sample. So this is the first time I am doing a column really on my own in a very, very long time. I do not use typical silica columns in my work. Usually we usually use like SPE, so solid phase extraction. And well, I guess you could say that's like manual column chromatography. But we usually use MPLC, which is medium pressure liquid chromatography, which is an automated system and HPLC also. So doing like a bench top column is kind of weird for me. And this is my first time doing it like by myself trying to figure it out when Axel was here, my Erasmus student, which you might remember from quite a few vlogs ago um we did it together but he was the one that was running the column i was just kind of learning from him and now i'm trying to do it on my own and i have no idea what i'm doing and i've already messed it up so i thankfully did not load my sample yet um i basically just dried out the silica on the column because i did not realize how powerful the vacuum was so the solvent ran out very quickly and dried out my silica so now i'm just removing the silica, going to resuspend it, going to add it back to the column and we'll start again. All part of the learning process and sometimes when you're doing a PhD you do not have someone to show you what to do. You just got to figure it out on your own so it takes a bit longer but it's a good learning curve because at least I am like learning from my mistakes and I'll know how to make it better the next time. So that's my little update. I'm going to go back into the lab, see if the silica has dried and then try again. <laughs> Yeah, so basically the silica just completely ran dry, so I've already tipped half of it back into here, which is where I was making my slurry, which is basically just the starting solvent and the silica yeah, mixed together so I can easily pour it into the column. So I was just using the vacuum pump to try and dry out as much solvent as possible from the remaining silica, and then I'll add it back in here and I'll try again. <laughs> so this is some amusing footage of me adding my sample to the column and not realizing how far up the column my sample was going to go which means that the solvent was below the sample so you can see that there's a little bit of wet sample at the bottom and the rest of it is dry so here i am using a pipette to try and put more solvent in i gave up after a while and realized that that method was not working so i added some solvent just by pouring it in and you can see that it is moving down the sample However, I'm not exactly getting the effect that I wanted. It did disturb the packing a bit, so I'm just tapping it to try and get rid of the air bubbles. So I did tell you at the beginning of the vlog that this was my first time doing a column in a while, so I'm not surprised that things went slightly wrong. But after a while, I managed to figure it out and we got the column going. Look at these lovely bands in my column. Okay, ignore the packing at the top. It's horrible. And here is the final result. I managed to collect all of my fractions of all different colours, ranging from green to orange to yellow, and I'm very pleased with how it turned out. This clip is just a little record for me to show myself that I did in fact manage to remove everything from the column and there was no sample left behind. <laughs> After I finished in the lab, I decided to go down to the beach and go for a run since it was a lovely day and I was stuck inside the lab all day. So here's me huffing and puffing, hadn't done a run in a very long time, but smashed a 4.5km run. 
Hello guys, I'm just realising that I did not round off the vlog. I managed to get the column done, which was good. It was a bit of an experience because, I, like I say, it was a new skill for me and I have not done a column in a very long time on my own, probably since my master's year, which was many, many years ago. Please excuse the mess of me, I still have to shower um, after my run. I went for a run along the beach after I finished in the lab. I was in the lab for about six hours today so it wasn't too bad and I actually very much enjoyed it. It was very peaceful, there was only a few of us there. Yeah, it was a really good day to try and figure out this column and I got there eventually even though it was a bit... Uh, didn't go a hundred percent correctly but I think it will be salvageable. <laughs> I'm going to do the TLCs on Monday but you won't see that until the next vlog because I'm just going to keep this as its own little vlog. I hope you enjoyed me showing you around my column today, a bit of a different one, just a day in the life, uh, Saturday in the lab and yeah I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye! <laughs>